something's up. Looks like we're getting packed up for something. Table's down. What's up, Brent? Well, we're just going to do a very, very short trip. So tomorrow's the day when we do a very short trip and we are getting the axles replaced and I'm really hoping that the shop we're going to will let us put the old axle and the new axle side by side just so that you can see the difference in that uh, what we're upgrading to. So I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. and we've been on the road for about 10 minutes pulled out of the park or out of our spot at 6:40. five minutes ahead of schedule Woo yeah <laughs> I was aiming for 6 30 but I guess you know I always overshoot I never leave on time it's the way I roll anyways um so we're gonna get this axle replaced today and Actually, we're replacing both of them. Oh, Sorry. the axles. Yeah, one is bent, but we're replacing both. Yeah, well, you can't do one without the other. That... Uh, unless it's the same rating. Yeah, well, they're <laughs> different sizes. Yeah. We need to find out why they were bending, or that one was bending. I'd be curious to know. My guess is a little bit too much weight towards the rear of the trailer, because it was the rear axle that was bending on both occasions. And, well, we don't really have a lot of weight back there. No, that's what I was just going to say. We don't carry much weight in the back end of the trailer. We tend to peep it over the axles. And and I never travel with a full tank of water, or rarely. I think I've done it a couple of times. But, uh, it was probably the axle that's, because that's you actually dump it. A, that's actually ahead of both axles. So Yeah. So, it's a mystery. Dogs are in their respective spots. <laughs> they got in the truck before their walk, so but we uh, uh, about a half an hour before. As soon as I opened the truck up to warm it up, they were both in the back seat. It's yeah. Like, okay, let's go. Okay, don't leave without us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, check in later. And what do we do when we're waiting for our trailer to be done? <laughs> we come to the IHOP where they're playing cheesy music. <laughs> Yeah, get some banking done. Ben's paying his bills. And we're, dogs are parked right outside, so maybe we should hit a little bit more on them. <laughs> because <laughs> Bailey is totally dejected now. Yeah, poor Bailey. Ah, Bailey's fine. Yeah. Say, hurry up, come back. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have some breakfast here, and, um, and then we'll go see if they've got the uh, axle taken apart and we can have a look and see the size we're moving up to. So a little side trip here. We're going into Michael's and we're gonna go find some fabric to put on the armrests because our armrests on the chairs in the RV have uh, worn. So we're gonna try and find some fabric for that. Okay, well, we're here at Coast Spring and Axle in Langley, BC. Uh, they've already got the old axles taken off, which that is them there. Thank you. The brown one, the rusted one, is the one that was replaced about two years ago. And this black one here is the original one, which is still in good shape, but the brown one is the one that is bent, which is the same axle that was bent before. That one was replaced under warranty. Extended warranty will not cover it. So, we need good axles. We've decided to go with these, which are 7,000 pounds. Hang on, I'm trying not to fall on things. <laughs> These are the 7,000 pound ones. And I'll show you what alerted me to this issue was with this tire here. This was the rear right tire. As you can see, it's really worn. So I will be replacing that today as well. 
and according to Bruce who runs the show here he says the other tire from that same axle is toast as well it's got some wear marks on it so I'm gonna take it into fountain tire get them to check it out and if it's bad we'll have to get two new tires instead of one okay so this is the other tire Brent was talking about uh, it's not as badly worn it's still got groove but if you look at where my pinky is compared to over here where my index finger is there is some pretty good wear there you uh, would think we were doing some 4 by 4 with our trailer but we weren't <laughs> back and forth the property that's it so who knows what uh, went sideways well here we are uh, just finished replacing one of the tires the uh, one with the bad wear marks oh, they're not cheap anyways they only had one in stock I needed one badly the second one is iffy so I'll probably be replacing that within the next month and a half or so it is good for now but does need replacing anyways so uh, we've got the guys doing the work here got the uh, new 7000s under there looking nice and shiny and one issue that he had pointed out was uh, the leaf springs are a little bit off kilter so he said he'll straighten those out before he uh, gets it all locked back up together it's working on the other side right now has a bit of stage fright so not a problem can't blame the guy <laughs> so everything is looking good everything's on schedule um, while he had it down uh, he's got the hubs apart obviously and we just looked at the bearings they're all in pretty good shape still uh, I've only got about five six hundred miles on the current set of bearings so the the red tacky is still working good and uh, I'm gonna get out of his way so he can get back to work he's working side to side and uh, everything's looking good there's our new tire new one old one this one here it's got a bit of tread wear here but you can barely notice it. It might be a sixteenth of an inch because all the markings here are good all the way around the tire. All the markings here are the same. And yeah, just a tiny bit of wear mark. Looks like the work is done. Yeah, I should probably put my sunglasses on. And um, I think they're just gonna pull it out with the forklift so that I don't think we can get the truck back in there few things in the way so yeah so uh, we'll have to crawl under there and give you a sample of what it is all going on underneath there and uh, hopefully we'll never have to do this again because <laughs> it ain't cheap apparently our trailer is heavy <laughs> they lifted uh, lifted the uh, front of the trailer up Jack stand out and he's like, this thing's heavy. <laughs> she is. That's probably why we need the bigger axles. I'm gonna kind of go underneath here a little bit. So there they are, brand new axles, all the gone up. And uh, super heavy duty. So our battery on the front of the trailer wasn't connected to power all day, so it pretty much died. Brent left the V on, it's what he does. <laughs> he likes this V, and we forget about it all the time. It causes us grief from time to time. Okay, we got this thing hooked up, and uh, where are the chocks? <laughs> I'm supposed to be taking chocks out. Oh, found it. <laughs> they didn't put the chalk back in after we parked it. So we're gonna have a little bit of a rush. It's uh, game six for the Canucks. It wasn't. What? It wasn't underneath the uh, trailer. Game six of the Canucks. They're up three-two. They win this game, we go on to the next round. 
and puck drop is at four o'clock and I think we passed four o'clock and we're not sitting behind the TV so I don't know how much further we're gonna get here. New axles are in. They look awesome. And I think that's all we have to say about that right now. Sorry, I was snooping. Do we have anything else to say right now? About the new axles? Oh, so the battery- Make sure that your battery has got a full charge. <laughs> and, you and you don't have to hand crank your trailer when you're hooking it up. <laughs> nice workout. Well, we left the front lights on because that's kind of Apparently, the way we Apparently, yeah. <laughs> so, I thought they were off all the time. I never thought of it. Yeah, we Anyways, tend to forget them occasionally. Um, we should go pay and do a light check and then we're on the road. We're under the trailer now. Just got home a little while ago. Everything looks great. Everything felt great. We got the new 7,000 pound axles on there. And yes, this is the front. <laughs> uh, all new U-bolts. Uh, the leaf springs are looking like they're a little bit flattening out on this side. This side here looks much better. But uh, yeah, we're good. Brand new spindle to spindle. Uh, 7,000 pound axles. Took off the 5200s. And uh, I'll feel much safer now. And we couldn't figure out why. We thought it might have been a weight issue because it was the rear axle that bent before and uh, the guy at uh, Coast Spring said you probably just hit a pothole that's uh, just a good jar and with a roughly a 10,000 pound trailer although it is the rear axle it's hard to say maybe cut the edge of a pothole or something maybe a bump or whatever uh, it was just a little jar in the road and uh, everything's back to normal now so i have a lot more confidence in the 7000s than we what? do in the 5200s it looks it sounds like my dogs are uh, visiting with someone out on the road we got that our brand new axles we're happy with them the trip home was fine <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was like 20 minutes so it's can't really test it on a 20 minute drive in uh, rush uh, hour traffic yeah aside from well they work yeah. Well, that's all we wanted to share with you this week. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, from the top. No, I'm good, honey. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not great at working the cameras, so sometimes Miriam double checks to make sure that it's actually recording. I have recorded a couple minutes before and it hasn't worked. Even though I look at the time clock, it's moving, but it's in the wrong mode or whatever. Anyhow.